starting a new vlog off today on Tuesday I realized that I don't really vlog on Mondays anymore which is fine because nothing happens on Mondays but anyways today is Tuesday and as you guys can already see from the title we will be packing this week me and my boyfriend we're gonna be going somewhere this weekend we're basically gonna be going on a hiking trip so don't worry you know we wanted to go somewhere to you know be together still do our you know have vacation but also mind the corona situation so we're driving somewhere we're going hiking like in the woods there's not much people around there you know you're outside and we're basically staying in this cute little mom and pop place where not a lot of people go anyway so it's gonna be quite a nice like solo just basically us type of vacation with not a lot of people you know around so i'm pretty excited about that and this this week we're gonna be packing some suitcases and in that regard I wanted to show you guys these two suitcases which I got from a brand called Live X Maintain. They were so kind enough to sponsor this video and send me over two suitcases to bring on trip. We're gonna be using these two suitcases to go to you know the hiking mountain trip and I'll be showing you guys basically how I pack for it and also I'll be showing you guys the clothes that I pick out. But let me show you guys the suitcases because they special specialize in you know specializing your suitcase you know so guys these are the beautiful two suitcases which I got from live X maintain I got this cabin suitcase which I really really like it has sunflowers all over it and Zoe on the inside and it spins really really well like nothing is you know buckling it feels really smooth and then this is just the bigger size or the biggest size of the suitcase also with sunflowers on top and it also spins so nicely and so smooth and both of them come with the lock is already built in on the suitcase and guys i'm a really weird person actually i don't even think it's weird but when i travel i need to have a lock on my suitcase there's like a belt around my suitcase i sometimes even have like you know a suitcase cover over my suitcase I'm like super protective. This I really love as well. You know, when you go to baggage claim and you go to pick up your suitcase, you don't have to worry because if anybody grabs your suitcase, like they're definitely trying to steal from you at this point because there's no way they're gonna grab a sunflower suitcase with Zoe's name on it. Like you did not buy that. That's not your suitcase and you know it's not. It's kind of hard to steal this suitcase without me noticing, you know? It's not your basic black suitcase. So yeah, you guys stay tuned a little bit. I'm gonna pack with it later and then i'm gonna pick out the clothes that i want to bring guys i've always wanted to go on a hiking trip you know i'm living in europe that's what they all like to do you know go hiking go skiing all of that i've never really done that but i went on amazon and i picked up some cheap pairs of hiking shoes they're actually really cute but they're not like anything fancy they were on sale and they were cheap i'm not trying to spend that much money on hiking shoes I thought it would be cute to pick up some hiking shoes because the whole weekend is going to be hiking and I don't want to wear sneakers. So I went on Amazon and I got these like really cute black shoes. They're unisex and they're fur inside and I just thought they were really cute. They're affordable and I have something to wear, you know, when we go hiking. We're going to start the packing process. Going to pull out some pieces, what I think I want to bring. Still not sure yet. haven't really even thought about it, but... I have some leggings that I want to bring. This is going to be for hiking. I'm going to actually wear this on the first day. I feel like I'm just going to need big oversized comfy clothes. Nothing too cute. To be quite honest, I don't think I have clothes like that for hiking things. So I need three outfits. I just have regular clothes. Maybe a vest, like a light vest. That could be worn. Okay. A turtleneck always gonna need you know a turtleneck i think i've kind of figured some things out i'm not really bringing outfits that are gonna be so you know like cute or my style for a vacation but it's a hiking trip so gonna wear these thermal leggings gonna wear my hiking boots the first day i've picked out a sports bra and then i have now two little hoodies and then two long sleeve shirts i have to wash this it's like filled with makeup but it's just this 
cozy headband. And then the three outfits that I picked, nothing too crazy. Also guys, I think this is going to be the bag that I take and also for other little adventures. I think this will be cute. And it fits a bottle of water, so that's nice. And I'm also gonna take this phone case, the one that straps around like this. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've already laid out the big suitcase here. My boyfriend and I, were gonna share the big suitcase, so I think the clothes and underwear and stuff can go in here. And then for this little suitcase, I wanna put like the shoes, my flat iron, my tie and my makeup. So all toiletry type stuff is gonna go in the little suitcase. So I won't pack that yet. I'm just gonna pack my clothes in on my side. And then when he comes, he's gonna do his side on this side. about the suitcase as well is that it's not a zipper close it is basically one flap and then you just buckle it so you can even stuff this with so much more clothes and it still should fit because it's a buckle not a zip and on my last video I asked where everyone is from and you guys are amazing I did not know that my video reached so far like so far. I'm gonna read some of them to you guys on here, give out some shout outs. So this one is from Purely Natural Woman. Congratulations on your 15k subscribers. I'm originally from East Africa, living in California. Enjoy all your videos. Amazing. That's crazy. This one is from Boy Tumelo Seraisi, um, Motswana. That's from Botswana living in Wales. Now I have to, you know, Google that. Okay, it's Southern Africa. Oh, amazing. Okay, so Stefan Muhammubi. I'm from, from Namibia, living in Germany. Hi. Um, the next one, Mega Brownie 19, Puerto Rican, living in the US. Cali, wanting to move to Germany for a master's program. Originally from New York City. From New Yorkians. I'm gonna end with this last comment because I think it's amazing and it leads me to another topic. So this is from Joe Gia. Hi Zoe, I'm originally from Jamaica, but have been living in the States for many years. I enjoy following your journey and as someone who loves traveling, I'm looking forward to visiting Germany in the near future. Do you plan on taking your boyfriend to Jamaica and did he enjoy the jerk chicken and festival you made? So thank you. You definitely should visit Germany. It's an experience. It's something to see. Do you plan to take your boyfriend to Jamaica? Yes. The answer is easily yes. So we've also talked about, you know, I'll get a little bit personal here, but we've also talked about marriage and all of that because you guys know we've been together for quite some time and I want to get married in Jamaica. Like I don't think I will ever, I could ever see myself marrying here, like in Germany. It's just not a thing for me. And that also leads to another thing about if I want to actually birth, like if I have kids, if I would birth them in Germany. I don't know, like for me, I'm very close to my family and my roots. I'm already living in Germany, you know, hanging out with his family and all of that. But I mean, I need connections to me as well. Like it's just, it's just not happening that I'm going to lose everything from me. I want to get married in Jamaica. Like that is what's going to happen. We've talked about it. He says it's also a great idea. So he for sure is going to be going to Jamaica, going to be seeing my family there. Um, and it's also a little bit better for me because then, you know, most of my family's there and then everyone can just travel from New York or Atlanta to go to the wedding there. Okay guys, so now that we are done with the packing, I'm gonna make some lunch right now. I'm gonna make some cordon bleu and fry up some broccoli and what else am I making? And then cut up some, oh my God, it's like only German in my head right now. Cut up some mushrooms, um, fry that up and make like a little sauce. What I'm gonna do, it's like a pre-done cordon bleu. What I'm gonna do is bake it first and then fry it only because I'm scared to just fry it because I don't want any raw meat or any hint of raw meat, so I'm gonna do that.
now Wednesday. I'm just, you know, getting ready for the day. My hair just looks terrible. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day, putting on some makeup. I've decided now to switch out from using my Fenty makeup. I'm now going to be going back to my MAC makeup because the Fenty was just actually too dark, you know? And I feel like it's a summer, summer foundation, so... I should just keep it as that and stop trying to force it into winter because it's not a winter foundation. Um, so I have two basically empty matte foundations here in the color 9. So I'm going to try to finish that out and then later today I'm going to go to the mall to pick up some more foundation. Luckily I have seen it in, you know, the matte cosmetic. They do have it because, you know, sometimes in Europe they have like the MAC store or the Sephora store, but then they don't stock, they still don't stock the dark colors, which is irritating. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go and see if I can get another one in store. And if not, I just have to buy it online. And then I also need to buy some new eyebrow cream because my eyebrow pencil is finished. And right now I'm just using like a black eyeliner to do my, do my eyebrows. Super poor, but I don't have anything else right now. I'm just going to do my makeup. <laughs> just finished filming the video it should already be out actually you know my experience with CBD um so yeah that video is finished but man today's a triggering day today is so triggering it's so triggering it's so triggering like I want to like YouTube for me is my escape it's where I can vent and I I never wanted to be the person who you know makes just like a rant or a vent video but I am like this close you can see it's, I'm already there. I want to, let me calm down, let me calm down, let me calm down. And um, yeah, let me just calm down, let me just calm down. So I'm going to take you guys along with me to Sephora. Not Sephora, no, I'm not going to Sephora. I'm going to Douglas and I'm going to go to the Mac store. Let me just take you guys there and let me calm down. And then I will see you guys a little bit later. here I want to unbox I haven't I feel like I haven't done an unboxing with you guys in a long time I'll start with what I got from Zara and also I went just for Mac but Zara did call my name this is so cute and it's so affordable my goodness picked up this gray sweater and it kind of has this like wool feel it feels so so nice and this was only I think 15 euros it feels really thick and just, you know, ready for fall. 
And then I picked up these pants. Normally, if you look at these pants, I would not, you know, normally pick them up, but, and especially the color is like really, really light. I don't like that because makeup, but I tried them on anyway, so I thought they were cute. And oh my goodness, they are so form-fitting. It looks really, really sexy on. So I had to pick these up and they cut off right at my ankles. So you can wear like a nice cute sneaker or something like that. And this with the sweater also is really cute. I went there to pick up, you know, a new Matchmaster foundation, but for some reason they don't have Matchmaster sold in the Mac stores anymore. It's online, but it's not in the store, which is super weird. So I picked up this one. It's the NW57, and this is the Studio Fix Fluid. I think I had this back, back, back in the day, but the Matchmaster just worked a lot better for me. But since they didn't have it, I was like, okay, I'll give this one a try. If it sucks, I'm going to be so mad. And then I also picked up you know, the pump that goes with it. The Matchmaster comes with a pump. So annoying that I had to buy this, but okay. Then I went into Douglas and I just picked up this dip brow pomade and this is in the color Ebony because like I told you guys, I'm struggling. I don't have anything for my eyebrows. I've just been doing nonsense on my eyebrows. And then they gave me this like little free thing, this Dior serum. Still don't know what it really is, but yeah, that's really nice of them. Then I came home, which is great. I went on Amazon and I was looking for pumpkin puree because you can't find pumpkin puree anywhere here in Germany, really. I looked, so I had to go to Amazon to find myself some pumpkin puree. They're also, you know, vegan, gluten-free because I wanna make some pumpkin pie. Halloween's coming, fall is here, Thanksgiving is coming. So I got two cans of pumpkin puree. Cannot wait to try out, you know, a nice pie, pumpkin pie. I also ordered these from Amazon. It's to manage the cords that's going on in my office right now. It looks so bad. All the cords are just hanging right next to the laptop and it disturbs me every day. So I got this like cord organizer thing. Let's see how this works out. And then I decided to also pick up, these feel nice. They're called self-gripping rollers because I want to stop, you know, using heat on my hair to curl my hair. And I want to just start using rollers just to get a nice bouncy little flow going on. I used to do it in high school. No, I used to do it in college and I got really nice curls, but I stopped. So I'm going to try and go for it again and see if I get the curls that I, de that I desire without heat. So yeah, let's see how that works out. Now I'm just gonna go eat something because I'm really hungry. I'm going to close out the vlog here because we're leaving tomorrow to go on vacation and I wanna start a new vlog then. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here and I know I said that I was gonna be packing with my boyfriend, but yeah, time has just caught up to me and I don't think that will happen, but just know his side of the suitcase will be packed. And yeah, that's about that. Hope you guys have a good day and I hope you guys are staying healthy.